Hi, I'm Dylan Hintz. Oh, I'm on the back. Are you? Are you sure? I was paying attention to my laptop. Are you sure you're sure? No. Okay, Maybe great. Do we want to just start over? No, I mean, we can't start over. People are already watching, right? Don't we already have like 50 people watching? Three. We have three people watching. That's really great. Uh, if you're in here and you want to say hi, say hi so that we know that you're in here. This is a big part of what we're trying to move into. We're moving away from our basic curriculum courses into some uh, very quick pickup choreography sessions that are going to give you a little bit of a workout and a lot of fun techniques to work on uh, for both your performing arts and your martial arts. John says hello. Hello, hi, John! John. Uh, is that the John? Yes. Is John? Oh my God! It's, it's the John. The John. I know. I know. Uh, everybody that's in this chat, we got John Soares in here. He's the uh, uh, the filmmaker who uh, was involved with uh, Sock Baby and Battle Jitney and all these amazing uh, short films that were put on the internet and features and he's uh, a big inspiration to me doing what I do so thanks for being in here John now you can absolutely <laughs> no I'm kidding uh, please stick around so we're gonna go into our choreography now uh, well not into our choreography we're gonna go into our warm-up warm first we're gonna start if you are already aware of what the Saga Action Arts curriculum is we're gonna go through the S series which is our basic kickboxing curriculum, which draws on savat, karate, taekwondo, kickboxing, whatever, Muay Thai, etc. Et it's just kicking and punching. So, Abra, why don't you lead me through, uh, why don't you attack me first? I will attack you. All right, I'm going to do my defenses. So, I call out one, and Abra goes, jab, rear kick. And then I go, jab, rear kick. First, let's just do exchange. Okay. Yeah, let's just do exchange. Okay. So, one. Jab, rear kick. Jab, rear kick. Two. Cross, lead kick. Cross, lead kick. Three. <laughs> rear kick, jab. Rear kick, jab. Four. Lead kick, cross. Lead kick, cross. Ready? Five. Jab, lead kick. Jab, lead kick. Ready? Six. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Six. <laughs> cross, rear kick. Cross, rear kick. Seven. Lead kick, jab. Yep, you're right. <laughs> Go again, seven. Lead kick, jab. Lead kick, jab. Go for eight. Rear kick. Rear kick. Hook, cross. Rear kick, hook, cross. And go for nine. Lead kick, cross, hook. Lead kick, cross, hook. All right, we're going to go through that one more time. We're going to switch places. This is just so that everybody, if you know this curriculum, great. Do it at home. If you want to follow along, we're going at a kind of fast pace, but just if you need to, just shadow box a little bit. Yeah. Try and keep up with the moves. Get your body going. We didn't do a top-down check-in, so no, we did we're not. just jumping right into it. Ready? And you call it. I will call it. One. Jab. Rear kick. Jab. Rear kick. Two. Cross. Lead kick. Cross. Lead kick. Three. Rear kick. Jab. Rear kick. Jab. Four. Lead kick, cross. Lead kick, cross. Five. Jab, lead kick. Jab, lead kick. Six. Cross. <laughs> cross, rear kick. Cross, rear kick. Ah! Sorry. Okay, one more time. Okay, six. Cross, rear kick. Cross, rear kick. Seven. Yes, lead, lead kick, kick, jab. jab. Lead kick, jab. Eight. Rear kick, hook, cross. Rear kick, hook, cross. Yeah, do that one again. You go first. Rear kick, hook, cross. Rear kick, hook, cross. All right. Nine. Lead kick, cross, hook. And lead kick, cross, hook. All right, cool. So a little bit of shallow boxing, a little bit of S-series just to warm yourselves up. This is just our basic fundamental movements for getting the body turning, pivoting, and extending for the type of fight choreography that we're going to be doing tonight. Now. We're going to borrow from these concepts, but we're not going to build the choreography directly out of these concepts because we want to create uh, something different. But again, S-Series is really about developing your kickboxing attributes. So now to kind of put it in a Hong Kong HK sort of way, we want to change the rhythm up, add different beats. And so this is going to feel either basic or intermediate depending on your background. But what we're going to do before we do the choreography is we're going to break down four, I believe, four. essential techniques that you can do at home. Uh, and we're going to bring them up to kind of like a workout level that are going to appear in the choreography 
so that you feel prepped before we jump into it. All right? The first technique is, is our front snap kick. Front snap kick. You'll find this in pretty much every martial art that has kicking in it, <laughs> except for Savat, oddly enough. Because it's a because it's typically a, a groin kick. Yeah, it's a groin kick or up through the chin, and so yes. they kick with the toe into the face, like at the jaw. Anyways, anyway, uh, you can pick whichever lead you want. So whether that's your left lead or your right lead, um, I'll do right lead to the side. Avra, you do left lead facing the camera. Facing the camera. And all we're going to do is first we're going to do the lead kick. We're going to pendulum step in, raise the knee, and kick, and put it back down. So we're just going to do 10 of these on the lead leg. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, real quick, just so that those that aren't aware of what a pendulum kick is, that's when my rear foot comes up and my lead foot goes forward and then comes back down and we step back out. So we get this nice pendulum sway. Pendulum back and forth. This is going to appear in the choreography multiple times. So five more times, ready, go. Five, four, three, two. two. And one. one. All right. Now we're going to do the rear leg front snap kick, which is really confusing, but it's basically the same kick off of the rear leg. So the front leg stays posted. You can even push up off of it if you want to increase your height. There is no pendulum here. I'm going off of a right lead. Aubrey's going off of a left lead. You choose whichever lead you prefer. Keep your guard up if you can. And ready? Go. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay? So that's the first technique. That is the first technique. The second technique is our spinning back fist. So this is going to be either more kung fu or more MMA. It just depends on what your background is. I'm uh, aware that it's in Muay Thai a lot. It is, yes. So if I was going to do it in the kung fu kind of style that we're going to do, First, we're going to set up our trap stance, or not our trap stance, our twist stance, because we need to twist into this one. I could do a back fist just like this, or just like that, but I want to actually put my body behind it so I could stand here and just turn around and hit Avra with it, but that requires my whole body to step through. It doesn't look very tight or coiled, so we're actually going to put some footwork into this. Step one is... <laughs> I'm going to go into the choreography for a second. That helps. Swoosh. I step across. Good. So I need to have, if Avra is behind me, I need to have my body turned away, and then I need to twist back towards her. So what you'll notice is, is that my rear leg is between, <laughs> between me and my opponent. I haven't changed my leads technically, and I'm extending across my body through that plane. If I was to go back the other way, boom, I'm just twisting back through. But if this foot was here, this wouldn't be twisted. You have to have the legs crossed for it to be a twist. So we're going to add that into it. Uh, let's, uh, you face the camera. I'm going to face this way. Okay. So from standing straight, I'm going to step across with one leg. And I'm going to extend my fist for that back fist. And then I'm going to turn. I'm going the wrong way now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Let me face the camera. Okay, you face the camera. Step. Uncoil, which is now again uncoiling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm losing my footing here. Yeah, right. Ten. This isn't really a move that you ever like fire at an opponent, like going like ha ha. <laughs> Huh. Back and forth, huh. back and forth. And I'm sure in some old school Shaw Brothers it's the thing, but for us, really the technique is just that I've stepped across my own body and I have to twist back around to fire this punch from behind me at my opponent. It'll also make more sense in context. Yeah, uh, it really requires you to have your weight set up ahead of time, but again, if you just step forward, turn, and bring that hand over, you've got it. If I was to do it the other way, I'd step forward, i turn, and bring my hand over. See, this is probably how I should have presented it from the get-go. Uh, <laughs> I step here, I turn, boom, I hit Abra in the face. There we go. You'll figure it out, darn it. Yes, you will. Moving on, we've got our ba, our, our figure to our ba. Figure so to ba. we're going to do a faint kick from high to low. So Abra, 
If you'd like to. I'm going to use, to do this with my rear leg, I am going to balance on my lead leg, going for his head, making contact with his body. So as she's going for my head in this case, she could make contact, but really what she's trying to do is she's trying to draw my attack, or Thank draw you. my block, and then she goes for the final attack down to my leg. So I'm going to block high, but then she's tricking me and she's going low. I go high, boom, she hits me low. So we're going to do these 10 times. Pick whichever leg you want to work on, or if you want to switch 5x5, five five, that's totally fine. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I guess we could do it 5x5, five five, but let's just do it. Let's just do whatever works best for you. Um, really try to work on your balance here. You need to even just hold up your leg for about 10 seconds to try to get that extension and that balance that you can do both of those kicks. And, th and this is a really big point. When she fires the high kick, look at her root leg. It's posted up. It's locked out. When she drops into the low kick, she bends it for that fuete ba from sabat, dropping down into that bent knee with full extension. So when I throw the high one, I'm posted, and then I lower the knee to throw the low one. So my body should actually be going from high to low. High low. So I'm really faking that high and dropping down for that low kick to the leg. Pistoning. It's a big piston. Yeah, I like that one. All right, so, or pedestaling in camera talk. Yes. Not panning. All right. You're Producer gonna, Brett would get really mad if I called him. He's going to kick me 10 times. I'm going to kick him 10 times. Rear leg? Rear leg. Rear leg. So we're going to do it off of our rear leg. So Abra goes one. Oh, okay, I'll go first then. Yeah. Bop, bop, and then I'm going to go. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. Three, four. Five. And kick foot. butt. Six. Seven. He has longer legs than I do. Eight. Nine, ten. <laughs> Let's just go for a few more. Eleven. Sorry, that was good. But Twelve. So is that. And thirteen. <laughs> and one more, just one more. Don't like number thirteen. And fourteen. And that's with my bad leg. Or my complimentary leg, as Dr. Brian Stoops likes to say. All right, we have one more technique to teach. Yes, we do. To throw into the choreography. This one is going to be the body cross to the uppercut. Abra, after you. We are going to throw, again, because the cross is coming from the rear, a cross to the body, taking our head offline, really pivoting that rear foot, kind of corkscrewing in. From here, you're loaded up for that uppercut. I could very well come up and under, go right up to his chin. I'm not going to do that because this is not real fighting. This is choreography, I'm just going to go up through this plane with this diagonal and really sure. shoot, shoot my hip up. What I like about this too though is that even though that this is for choreography and not for reality, if Abra hits me in the stomach here, boom, and she follows that line for the uppercut across her body, it's really convenient because it's training her hip pivot and it's training her to engage her waist and her core behind her punch. So it's actually pretty practical in terms of training uh, the mechanics of the punch. Just not targeting. Yeah, I mean, it is the targeting if you're going to end up going through the line like that, as opposed to straight up it, which, you know, if you're trying to take the jaw, Yeah, but I mean, what off. I mean is I'm not actually making that contact. Right, yeah. you should not be making that contact. I should not be making The body that punch can be contact if not, you train it right with your partner. Not driving it in super hard, Please but I don't. am still making contact. Boom. And how does that feel to you? That's fine. And then just boom. Now, if we were to play with that whole uh, all contact hits must bounce sort of principle, she'd hit, it bounce off, boom, she goes for it. So we're going to do this 10 times. Pick whichever lead you want to use. Um, I'll, do it from a, I'll do it from a right lead, you do it from a left lead, because yeah. that's what you're going to do for the choreography. Mm -hmm. So you just face the camera and show them what you're going to do. I'll do it from the side. Okay, we're going to punch each other. That's okay. Oh yeah, no, let's punch each other. Alright, very cool. Good call, Abra. So then we'll both be in left lead for no, for no good reason. So, Abra goes for one. Boom. I go for one. Abra goes for two. I go for two. So really dive down. Get some athletic little motion down here. Push up through your legs. It's working my balance. That's my three. Abra goes for her three. I go for my four. Abra goes for her four. I like your bounce. Thank you. Abra goes for five. I go for five. Abra goes for six. 
And if I want to practice conditioning my stomach, I need to breathe out on an impact. Come over here. And uh, he needs, we all need to tighten, when tighten you, this. When you breathe out, contract. contract. You're contracting, tightening up the belly. That's a very martial arts thing to do, and you should do it anyways to protect your core. She drops in. I can take it a little bit, as long as she doesn't go too high up into the solar plexus. All right, so six. Same. You're lower than me. <laughs> you have a smaller belly. Eight. And nine. We're kind of half selling this right now. We're not really doing this as choreography class for the moment. One more time. Okay. And 10. All right. So those are the four basic techniques that you're going to need to implement into this choreography. We're going to add them all in as we go progressively. But now we're going to break down the choreography for you to learn at home. I'm going to check the clock. We're at 717, so we've got to get through this. Yes, we do. Uh, again, it's just... Fourteen moves tonight, so it's really short. Fourteen. Fourteen moves tonight. <laughs> All right. You can either be the operas of the world or you can be the Dylans of the world. You choose. Pick one side to learn first, and then we're going to have you be able to go through the whole thing at home. You're basically going to shadow box the choreography. This is essential. You're going to kind of learn our process for putting it together. You need to be able to practice this stuff on your own, anyways. So this is you getting your reps in. Pick your fate. Pick, choose, choose your destiny. So, Abra enters the room, and my first instinct is to throw a pendulum kick with a lead snap kick that she's going to block. Then she's going to counter with her own pendulum high flete or roundhouse kick up to my block. So, we're just going to go forwards and back. Forwards and back. We're just building up this nice little... Kickboxing exchange. And you'll notice how we're both penduling them, penduling them, penduling them. Penduluming? Penduluming our energy back and forth. So what happens here is that I send the energy forward, she goes back, and then she sends the energy forward, and I go back. So we get this nice little kind of kung fu sort of rhythm, uh, a very Bruce Lee sort of thing where we're swaying back and forth and we're kind of dancing together in a sense. So that's the first two techniques for this choreography. The third technique, I throw mine, she throws hers. I'm going to step in and throw a hook, right? Yes, you are. Okay, because I almost forgot. I'm going to throw it at her shoulder. Oh, Hold on for a second. Because I want to aim for true target. Aiming for head starts moving me up, up, up into top hat territory. Once it's out here, she's going to duck. I'm going to close the line so that I know I'm safe. So again, I don't want to go up and over. That's not going to look good for anybody because if she ducks under that, just never works. Why, why was I ducking? Like in our baton fight. <laughs> I think that was on me, not on you. Don't say anything. Okay. Don't say I gotta be honest not about right. it. Not everything's perfect. So I aim into the plane of her shoulder and she goes under it. If I want to think about it, I heard this one from uh, Tony Vincent. You comb, you oh. comb the back. You reach for their back. You comb the back hair that Abra has. So, <laughs> so again. She throws her kick, I throw my kick, she throws her kick, I comb the back. Now I'm over here, one more time. Kick, kick, boom. So now, because I threw this big wide haymaker hook, I'm stepping across, this is where we bring in that uh, spinning back fist. I turn my hips and my feet, and I extend my back fist into her face. So I spin, and she blocks. I say no. What do you say? No. What do you say? No. No, no, no. Ow. Okay, great. So she gets that block, and then what she's going to do is she's going to take the hand that's closest to me and parry my block, uh, my strike. She's going to parry, she's going to move my pass, pass my strike out. Whoosh. I'm going to slightly lose my footing because she's just moved my arm, and she's going to fire her own cross. Boom, over my shoulder, and I'm going to receive that hit. So let's just go from the hook. I hook and step through, I turn my hips and I throw my back fist, she passes me out, boom, she hits, I plant one foot. Let's go over to here, just so that we have a little bit more space. From that hook, whoosh, spinning back fist, pass me out, her own cross, I step out. Now we're going to throw, off, if you're on my side, a rear spinning hook kick. 
Yeah. I'm going to step through, turn over and spot my partner first. I'm going to lift up the leg that's closest to them, and I'm going to extend it across their face as a hooking kick. So I'm just hooking right across the face, and they're just selling it out. Boom. All right? So, from the top, I snap kick, she high roundhouse kicks, I throw my hook over her, I turn, throw my spanning back fist, she opens me up, crack, I step, I step, she's coming in so that there's no egg on her face, she's going to raise at least one hand up just to make it look like she wants to attack me, I throw my hook kick across the plane of her face. And then we do our circle of, circle of death, Highlander style. That can be only one. Because we're going to break this fight up into two small pieces. So. Phrases, if you will. Two small phrases. Snap kick! Alright, cool. Now we're in round two. Abra's going to do that faking high to low kick. I block it. Boom! She hits me in the leg. Ow, 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 ow. Landing? Because it sucks for whatever reason. Maybe she had a boot on she hit me in the knee. Let's just say it works for the moment. Either way, I'm down here. Landing, I'm loaded, I'm looking over my shoulder. Spinning, going for a stomach key is not taking it. Yeah, well, I'll take it. So she's gonna provide a spinning back or a spinning side kick, depending on what she feels more comfortable with. Usually so, spinning back or spinning side kick. Yeah, it's a spinning side kick for you. So spinning, chasse, lateral, revere, blah, blah, blah. High to low. She steps through, and she, boom, expands it into my body. Then go a little bit lower into the belly. Yes, I just know you were taking it. Yeah, well, it's because it was so close, it was hard for you not to tuck it in, you know? So, I need to make sure that when she draws me with that high, I'm almost looking for it, and then she smashes me with that low, and then I'm trying to come back up, boom, she knocks me back. One more time with that. So we just got out, I just kicked her in the face, she just punched me in the face, we come back into the moment, ow, oh, and that's where we go from there. That's what that means. I've been knocked back, so now my character wants to get back in the game, so I'm just going to start throwing punches. So this is where we get into our nice little uh, kung fu sort of rhythmic punch set. We're just going to throw three punches, and they're going to be in a row, and she's going to defend all three of them. So first I'm going to throw a cross off the rear. So this is going to be from a right lead. I'm throwing that uh, rear cross high to her face. She blocks it. So now we're in the high line, so we're going to go high, low, high. I'm going to drop a body shot towards her stomach. She's going to block that to the outside. And then I'm going to throw another high cross to her face, and she's just going to window block it right out there like that. So if we were to watch it from this side, instead of doing catch parries, or uh, the type of outside parries that we really do when we're doing S-series, we're going to do these kung fu blocks, which look like a windshield wiper. When I go low, uh, I'm sorry, when I go high, she's going to actually parry across her body for this one. You want me to... No, you're doing it right. Okay. She's parrying across her body for this one to move me off the line, so this is pretty much like S-series. And that's, it's not, S-series is not as big. Yeah, but it's going to be a little bit bigger and more presented. Yeah. Then when I go low, she's going to drop her lead hand down, cutting off the line here. She's also going to lower herself with me. And then when I go high, she's going to bring herself up and bridge up with it. So she's always blocking. So if I go low, she goes high. She's just covering her line. All right. So I come in with that cross. Okay, I, didn't know we were doing I come that. in with that cross. I go low. I go high. So from the top of this piece, she attacks me to high to low. Draws the attack. I get kicked in the stomach, and then I counter with high cross, low body, high cross. And now she's got me dead to rights. She's got me extended up into the air. Let's yes. move you over here just a little bit. Nice bit of real estate open for I have me. a lot of real estate open for Albert. She's going to spin and drop a body cross into my body, just like we were doing in that one technique, and finish me off with a high uppercut that she powers through with a coiled motion. So if you want to see that from the camera side, turn around. I'm going to throw cross, low, high. She's going to hit me with that body shot, boom. And then she's going to spin back the other way for that uppercut. It's not much as a, a spin as it is a pivot. It's a, it's a pivot. pivot. She's going to uncoil, coil, uncoil for that uppercut, which is going to knock me up into the air, onto my back if I had mats and I felt like hitting the ground hard. But we're not doing wrecks in this class right now. 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 All right, back to the choreography. Let's go back to the very beginning. Or actually, let's review the last part real quick. High to low. 
fake hit, turn in, bop to the body, I come in high, low, high, body shot, uppercut. This is a stacked hit, so she's going to draw the fist up the line of her own chest so that she's not reaching out to me, and she's going to actually push it off to the side. And what you'll notice is the alignment of the elbow to the fist to the knee to the heel. That kind of makes this awesome shooting star shape where it's all being fired up off the ground. It's connected. Connected. And I'm going whoosh. Whoosh. Are you saying whoosh? I can't. Whoosh. You want to do a shore you can? No, it's okay. Okay, you should do a shore you can, but okay. We'll, we'll, we'll. Sure you can. Sure you can. Let's do this. From the top of the fight, everybody, we're going to break it down all the way through, perform it a couple of times, and then we're going to have Brett take the camera off the tripod and shoot it for realsies. And we are at almost time to finish up. So, good. We're right on schedule. Ha. Schedule. All right. I attack. Abra counterattacks. You're going to... Harry repost. Yes. I cut through with my hook. I step across. I know she's behind me. I pivot. Fire that spinning back fist. Boom! She hits me. I step across. Fire that hook kick, boom. I come across, I come across. Yo, what's up? What you gonna, oh, sh ow, my leg. Boom, she hits me in the body. I don't like that, I come back with my flurry. Boom, boom, and I'm knocked out. You need to arrange that a little weird there, so we just need to fix that, and that's okay. So again, if you're on the opera side, that's what you're doing, and if you're on the Dylan side, that's what you're doing. So let's do the back to back. We, we're, we're gonna go a little bit over, I think, but you face that way, oh, I face that, that way. You oh, face okay. that way, I face this way. Okay. <laughs> so, the fight starts with, I'm going to throw my lead snap kick. Aubrey's going to throw her counter. Uh, I'm in the wrong lead. I yep. Know. Do it again. Let's do it again. So, I throw my lead snap kick. She throws her counter. I block it. I'm going to step in, throw my hooking haymaker across. I'm going to look over. I'm going to spin and throw my back fist. She's going to parry me out or pass me out. She's going to throw her cross. <laughs> Boom. I get hit. We're too far away from each other. I get hit, step, step. When I step, step, I'm gonna turn around again for the same kind of twist. Fire my hooking kick, she's gonna react to it. From there, we circle of death around, and then she's gonna lead the next attack, high kick. to low. Yep. I get hit in the leg. Step that leg forward, spin for that back kick or side kick. Body shot crumples me up. I don't like that, I should have a switch lead here. I'm gonna come in cross, she Parries it outside of her body. Body shot, she parries it down. High cross, she parries it outside of her frame again. And then she counters. With body cross. Body cross. I double over. And then my uppercut. Uppercut, I snap back. That's the choreography broken down. Um, we would flip flop it if we had the time, but unfortunately we went a little bit long on this one, so we just want to wrap this up. So now you just get to watch it as we play with Brett with the camera. So. Brett, if you could take the camera off the tripod, we'll check the comments real quick. Hello. What makes Brett this interesting? Ha. Da, dude. This reminds me of a challenge exercise I can't do. That was with the kicks. Oh. Cool. We're, we're teaching terminology to John Allen Soros? Wow. Uh, uh, well, Sabak, because he might not be as familiar with Sabak. I'm not okay. saying that you're not, John. <laughs> All right, so Brett's going to shoot the fight. So we're shooting this fight live. Live to camera. Single take fight. Hopefully Brett doesn't lose the microphone or anything. Are you ready, Brett? Yep. I'm rolling and action. the playback now. Crack. Could be better, but you know. Oh, that, that roundhouse, uh, that hook kick definitely okay. sold. Yeah. Boom, boom. Nice fake. Right into the body. Boom, boom, boom. Crack. Corn. All right, let's get that uppercut to sell and then we'll call it a night. Yeah. So we're changing up our positioning in the room so that these hits sell. You want to make sure that it presents for camera. When you're doing a single take fight, you have to have camera awareness because you need to set up those lines for the camera operator, and they got to work with you to land in the right moments. Brett's really good at this. We're lucky to have him. Yes, we are. <laughs> but uh, we still got to do our side of the job. He can't make all the magic happen on his own. So we're going to pivot around to this a little bit. All right? 
And Brett, you want a call action? <laughs> yep, uh, we're definitely rolling. And action. selling right now. You were just right there, like, oh. I'm like, move her away. <laughs> Ow. Crack. Nice. Could use some work, but we don't want to take up everybody's time. Um, that's our fight for tonight. A little bit of Hong Kong back and forth. Some exchanges where we're not just selling one hit, one hit, one hit, one hit. You have to drive the line every once in a while. You have to sell more than one hit at a time. Um, and then, I mean, we just did a 14 hit fight, a 14 beat fight, yeah. you know, in a couple of seconds. Uh, but in the meantime, if you like what you saw, please be sure to like, share, send this video to your friends, invite them into further classes, come and join us for those other classes. If you really like what you saw and you want to help support us, there's a few things that you can do. You can write us a review on Facebook, hopefully five stars, yeah. and you can tell other people what you think about us. And if you've trained with us before, that'd be great, or if you just enjoy the live shows, that would also be equally great. Finally, if you liked what you were doing with us in the class, or if you would like some feedback, record yourself doing some of the choreography and send it to us. We'll give you some feedback. Or if you'd like to, put something together that you'd like us to post on our own page, and we'd be happy to share your content to help aspire to inspire others. Yes. 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 So that's it for our show tonight. Let's, let's give each other a high five. Let's give each other a high five. Let's give each other a high five. Why are we teaching choreography? Stop it! Okay, great. And uh, any last words, Abra? Good job, everybody. Good job. You good job. You good job. You good job. Brett, you good job. Brett, we'll you see good. you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>